Hi guys and welcome back to another Adult Race video and today we're going to be playing MXGP 2021. Yes, it's finally here and we have finally got our hands on it to make some gameplay. So we're going to be here in Majora on board the KTM with Jeffrey Hurlings, the brand new MXGP 2021 World Champion. And I've got to say, first impression straight off the bat, this game is great. This game certainly feels similar to MXGP 2020 but carries a lot of new feeling with the motorcycles. It feels like all of the work has been done for the bikes and the way the track feels and the way the track looks as well. I think graphically, I think the graphics are really good. I think they're very clean, very crystal, very, very nice. I'm liking it so far. From this first impressions video, I'm going to give just a, a basic rundown just here in the track of Majora for the time being. But as far as the actual rest of the game goes, we'll be doing a full review. So just bear with me on that one and I'll do a full review. I can give you my best opinions and uh, impressions of the game. But for the time being, we're just going to ride around Majora because basically, honestly, for me, I've missed this track so much. I think it's a fantastic track. It's by far one of the most hardest tracks within the MXGP calendar, but I just had to jump on it and give it a try. And I must confess, it was not the best track to jump on with MXGP 2021 because MXGP 2021 feels much harder than the previous instalment, which for me is a fantastic thing. I love the idea of it being a more concise and more difficult sense of experience rather than just having it easy all the time. But before we go on, I would like to give a little special shout out to Antonio Barber gifting me this code for this game. Without you, this video would not be possible. So thank you very much for once again providing me with another code for another fantastic game. But upon that note, guys, thank you to Antonio Barber, and let's just chat about how the bikes feel, because for me, the way the bikes feel in this game are absolutely stupendous. Really, really great. Last year in MXGP 2020, I never really felt like you could lose the front or you could make too much mistakes. You could if you push too far, but here, you can be punished for even not pushing that much. You can just maybe move in on the lean just a little bit too much on the right analog stick, and you can find yourself crashing down or even pirouetting round. I would love the way the bikes feel. They have a, a sense of weight to them this year rather than last year. Last year they felt quite, I'm going to use the term floaty light, but not quite. They just felt very light in general. But here they feel like they have a lot of weight and every single little manoeuvre you do can have an impact on how you can land or even how you take off in the air. Now I have plans to cover a lot of MXGP 2021 and I also have plans to do a lot of guides on this game because I do feel the jump from MXGP 2020 to 21 does have quite a little bit of significance and it's quite important for non-MXGP players and maybe you play Monster Energy Supercross compared to this one so I'm going to do some guides on this because I do feel like I could offer some assistance because honestly when I first jumped on it it did feel quite different and it felt a little bit strange in the sense of this feels really really hard compared to the previous one which for me I'm super excited about but for others that might be a little bit off-putting I don't think it's too hard in the sense of like a, a major simulation game, but it does feel more simulated oriented compared to previous installments, which for me is fantastic. And of course, there's even things like track deformation in the game, so you can go into the same rut constantly and then find it disappear away from you in the, towards the end, or you can get into a rut too far and it might be a little too deep for you. Little things like that will just make the experience even better, which Milestone have delivered here in MXGP 2021. With annual games you do see some sort of repetition and we are seeing that with MXGP 2021 there are a lot of similarities to 20 and it starts the second you start the game pretty much so you can see the menus is also very similar the UI and the interface is very very similar but for me I'm kind of used to that now that most games that come out annually do have that sense of similarity but have a little things underneath them a little bit different in this case I think MXGP 2021 is a fine example of that Basically, it's the same core element, but just improved upon. So, MXGP 2020, if it was perfect, would have been MXGP 2021. In my opinion, so far, from my first impressions, what I mean. Now, I haven't found any bugs, any issues, no graphical glaring marks or issues that I've ever had any issues with. There's absolutely no sort of concern for me right now. Compared to the likes of Ride 4 and uh, MotoGP, there are texture popping compared to this game where I haven't seen anything. Even looking back at the video now, I can't see any texture popping. The game ran flawlessly at 120 frames per second. 
just really, really smooth experience, able to pick up and play and just enjoy it exactly how I intended to. Now I have read a, a few complaints regarding the sort of emptiness to MXGP 2021 and the lack of career mode. The career mode for me is, it's basically, it is what it is and it has been for the pretty much the past couple of years. Most people, I don't know what they're looking for in the sense of something like F1 where you have that cringy storyline or if you have something more like a, a my career experience from like an NBA game for example. I'm not entirely sure what people are after but for me I'm more interested in just the racing. You can make rivalries which MXGP 2021 does. You have a sort of rivalry, you have sort of duels now where they contact you and ask you to have maybe have a race at a legacy track or something like that and you can either accept or decline. I like that feature but I'm not really interested in the whole let's go for the story mode and let's have a, a fake rider you can sort of battle against. It makes it a little bit, for me, a little bit cringy and I'm not really a fan of that. But I do get people's complaints in the sense of that the career mode is rather empty, it's basically just racing. But to be honest with you, that's why I'm that's the only reason I'm here. I'm here to, to race and enjoy the experience. I'm not really bothered about some sort of storyline that's going to develop and friends become enemies and enemies become friends and lovers are made. I'm not really bothered. I just bring me the racing. That's all I'm interested in. As long as uh, the racing is firm, fast and fair, I'm pretty much happy. So concluding so far, first impressions are great. Helmet cam is definitely the way to go in this video game. I've done it on MXGP 2020 because I really didn't like the rider animation on the last game. I do think the rider animation's improved and don't worry if you're not a fan of helmet cam you are going to see the third person perspective in the next race which is coming up any moment now but as far as I'm concerned as the actual racing goes everything's great features yes we could do with a little bit more but as far as the actual Grand Prix go the, the way the tracks look the way the tracks feel it's a big thumbs up from me so far so now we're going to try the third burst perspective and already you can tell it looks pretty clean, it looks pretty nice so far as we're going to try and get into the left hand side and try and take the Fox's whole shot, which we do. Fox's whole shot goes to Jeffrey Hurlings as we now go on to the right hand side, but my complaint in MXGP 2020 is the riders looked a little bit blocky and a little bit stuck in their animations, but it has improved with the 21 instalment. I do feel that the helmet cam looks a little bit better and is more enjoyable to play, but I also don't have too much of an issue with the third burst perspective in this game. Compared to last year's where I just couldn't touch the third person at all, it does feel a little bit different but also you get a good understanding of how much acceleration to put on and how much the tyre is sliding and how well you're doing the jumps. But some of the jumps just look a little bit odd. Like when you push forward, just the rider sort of drops with the bike. It, it's like the bike moves, the rider doesn't. That's the best way I can explain it. It just looks a bit odd sometimes. But I do feel with um, MXGP 2021's attention to the physics and attention to the bikes that the third person perspective is a lot better now. It's a much more enjoyable experience than it previously was in the previous instalments. As far as the helmet cam versus third person goes, I don't mind either this year I don't think. I might do an amalgamation of them both, I might do a little bit of a combination or I might just stick to helmet cam. I'm not entirely sure. I do usually prefer third person for other video games, but for MXGP and AMA Supercross, I do tend to prefer the helmet cam. Now, there's a little gripe that I actually neglected to mention when I uh, had the helmet cam running, is that they still didn't add the wiping of the visor, so the pulling the tear off. I really miss that feature from AMA Supercross. It's awesome. It's just a little neat addition that makes you think about when to pull off the uh, tear off. But unfortunately here in MXGP it isn't a thing in the 2021 version. So hopefully maybe next year's game we'll get that and hopefully next year we'll have an even better experience with MXGP. But if you're looking for an MXGP game, maybe you don't have 20, maybe you do have 20, I would still highly recommend picking up 2021. Now a little, little complaint as well, which is probably not going to affect many of you, but it does affect me. I'm a collector and I love physical editions of games. Now, I bought this on PC, or at least uh, Antonio gifted it to me on PC, so there will be no physical edition. But there is actually no physical edition anywhere this year. So, which is strange for me, because they have done a physical edition every single year. But for this year, unfortunately, there is no physical version for PlayStation or Xbox. If you were looking at getting it in physical form with a disc, unfortunately, it's not going to happen for you this year so I'm also disappointed by that because I do aim to buy this game on the PS5 at some point physically but unfortunately uh, yeah that's not going to be a thing so unfortunately that's not a thing to you. 
Also a very underrated feature in MXGP 2021, which I, I think some people only mention it if it's bad, and if it's really good, they might neglect to mention it. And I've got to say, the soundtrack for this game this year is awesome. It have been very, very good for the likes of AMA Supercross and even MXGP 2020, so I'm impressed once again by a good selection of soundtracks and songs for this game. And they're not songs I would genuinely listen to, but when you're in the mood for racing and when you're fancying, th you know, just wrapping it up and just uh, thrashing some tracks in MXGP 2021, the music certainly gets you going. It certainly gets you G'd up and certainly gets you motivated to stick out your left leg and chuck it into a left hander. I must confess, I I'm really impressed with the soundtrack selection this year and the whole game does feel very clean. It, it feels much l like a polished MXGP 2020 and I think this is what we needed last year, but unfortunately we didn't get it, but ne nonetheless, we have it now. And that, for me, is a very positive step. I think as long as we have the most polished version of the MXGP game we've got, we should be happy. And I do feel very strongly about it. I feel like my first impression so far, especially compared to last year's first impressions, my impressions last year's game was not good. And this one, completely different. I'm very positive about it, very happy. And I can't wait to bring you proper content where I'll proper go for it in the sense of commentary and in the sense of riding as well. Because for the time being, I'm still actually finding my feet in MXGP 2021. The first race I had a few catastrophes and I made a few mistakes. But um, the actual second race here so far in the third person perspective, going pretty strongly so far. And I have started career mode already. I'm going to maybe use third person and first person. I'm not sure yet. I have already started a couple of videos with Helmet Cam, so unfortunately if you're not a fan of Helmet Cam that will be a thing, but, but honestly I'm really looking forward to bringing you MXGP 2021 content this year. I hope we get the full amount, because unfortunately for MXGP 2020 we didn't get that many views, but as far as the actual career modes go I'll definitely complete them and even do a couple of championships as well. But for the time being, I guess it's uh, on the final lap, so I guess we're going to have to pretty much conclude this review. Well, not so much a review, my first impressions. If you want to see the full review, I will be doing a full review very, very soon. I just need a bit more time to play with it. And uh, unfortunately, Christmas is coming up and I'm mega busy at the moment, so unfortunately I'm trying to squeeze everything in as I possibly can. But I will get the review done, hopefully by next week. So by Monday, I'm hoping, or by Tuesday at the very, very latest, I will have a brand new, fresh review for MXGP 2021 where we'll cover all the features, we'll cover everything in detail, we'll look at the graphics, we'll look at the bikes and we'll just look at everything that we possibly need to do to make sure we can make our decision on whether this game is worth buying or if it's not. So we'll continue to ride on with Jeffrey Hurlings, the 2021 World Champion and we'll finish this race in style. So I'm pretty positive thought as well that just my second race or actually recorded race I'm going to take a victory in the second race. I'm hoping we can take the Grand Prix overall, but I don't think we can, depending on where Roman Fevre is. So we'll see as we go across the line in just a moment's time. We're going to get onto the left hand side, and Jeffrey Erlings takes victory here in race two of Majora. So unfortunately, I didn't take the victory. We missed out by just one single point. And uh, goodness me, that was a close one but unfortunately that's going to be it from me so i really hope you enjoyed this video my first impressions of mxgp 2021 if you did let me know in the comments section down below and why not consider liking the video and subscribing as well but upon the note guys thank you very much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one ciao for now oh hi didn't quite see you there Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.